For the grooming team of Hannah and daughter Emily, the pressure is on them as far as the horse's turnout is concerned. We've washed him off because he was very sweaty, um, patted him earlier, which you can see from the other side. Uh, basically smartened him up, put um, baby oil on his nose and round his eyes to make it shiny. Um, and then they have these white boots on to warm up for the dressage. I put overreach boots on him so that um, so that he doesn't hurt himself on the way up because they tend to get a bit excited. Um, and now basically I'm just making sure he hasn't got any shavings left on the hooves and giving him a quick brush over, putting on some hoof oil and then I'll uh, do the um, course markings. And then he'll go up and then up in the dressage arena, we will then, just before Mary goes in, we reapply hoof oil, and um, if the quarter markings need smartening up, that'll be done. Give them a bit of a brush over and make them look nice and pretty. Mary is also immaculate in her dressage top hat and tails, and former head girl Andrea recalls happy times with her old boss. I was Mary's head girl for four years, um, and just left at the end of last season so I'm not actually working for her here but just helping out in cross country day. Um, yeah, in the four years I did the Olympics, the Europeans and the World Games with her. Um, won two medals, Olympic silver and world, uh, silver at the World Games in Aachen last year. She's great, we, we, we had a great time, fun times and real down times. Um, no, she's more like a best friend than a boss, so no, she's rather special really. So, yeah, no, we had a great time. Lovely homely yard, just nice old farmyard, nothing too amazing, but um, the horses are, you know, looked after so well, and they're so happy, and uh, she does a very good job, very, works very hard to achieve what she has. Mary's main chance of glory in 2007 was on Call Again Cavalier. Being her second ride, she will perform her dressage late on the Friday afternoon, when there is a real atmosphere in the main arena. But Mary has been there many times before and knows how to handle it. She is looking cool, calm and collected, and the judges' good marks are soon racking up.
A score of 41.8 is competitive, and Mary is delighted with Cavi. I was really chuffed a bit. Um, definitely the best test Cavi and I together have done in this sort of electric surroundings. Um, he often, you know, will clamp up a bit and, you know, goes along very prettily, but a bit wobbly and not drawing forward. Whereas there he was very positive. He felt sort of more confident with all the movements. And, yeah, no, it was lovely. And no, I was chuffed a bit. Um, I was a bit bad with my riding. The last change, flying change, I came around and he started to come up a little bit. And then I... I just allowed it to happen too early, so we lost marks there. He was a bit nervous as he entered the up the centre line, and then he halted, and I could feel he was sort of quaking all over his body, was shaking, and then his head came up. So, um, but then once he trotted on, he seemed to then get back, you know, get back into the comp swing of it. And no, I was really, really pleased. Well yeah. done, and Ferdy Arberg said he thought it was the best test you'd done, but perhaps that you could have been more positive in the walk. Oh, really? Yeah, no, dear Ferdy, he'll, yeah, he's a great trainer and um, he's a perfectionist, which is what it's all about. So, yes, he told me off for about a number of things when I came out, although inside I'm sure he was pleased. <laughs> well done. So what next? Um, quick dash back to the lorry. Well, ride Cavi back. He's going to be quite excited going back, I'm sure. Um, then I must have a quick shower, a quick change and being in interviewed by Claire Balding from the BBC in half an hour. No time to relax at the end of a long day for Mary. It's back to the lorry for a quick change, then an interview for the BBC. I would say it would be a little bit more difficult course than last year. Not sort of bigger, more a little bit more technical. Um, there's some fairly awkward turns. Then another change of clothes for an evening in Cheltenham as guest of honour at a supporters function, along with husband David. But on this occasion, Mary was about to do something very alien to her character. She was about to be negative. It's great to be back in Bampton, but what is so disappointing is the ground there. It's just so hard. And you can do so much damage to horses if you run them on hard ground. And all us riders are in, you know, we're all so disappointed and all in such a dilemma as to what to do. Um, you know, do we run our horses and risk injuring them? Or, you know, do, you know, or do we withdraw and just go home? But then badminton is so important. Um, it's been very difficult for everybody. Okay, thank you very much. To those in the room and many others not there. She is simply a star. It was just so pleasant to see how down to her birth she is and, uh, and, and how she just loves the sport so much. It's nice to find someone that has had a dream, a passion, uh, from, from a small top and has been able to realise that dream. I mean, yeah, that, that's sort of an inspiration to all of us that if you have a dream, you should really try and follow it. In the run-up to cross-country day that year, Thousands of tons of topsoil was poured onto Badminton Park. But despite all the management's efforts to combat the exceptionally dry conditions and improve the cross-country going, Mary was not convinced. I don't personally think it'll make a lot of difference because it looks good, you know, you sort of think, oh, that looks as though it might be soft, but at the end of the day, they said they were going to put two to three inches. Well, this would be... Um, an inch in the deepest and maybe a none in other bits you know really this where it's a bit thicker you know a 17 hand horse will just go straight through that and I mean you're onto the hard ground it's not really going to do I don't think it'll do anything finally the unthinkable happened and Mary King announced to the world her decision to withdraw her horses this was a very low moment in her eventing career but life had to go on and plans needed making Mary's decision not to risk her horses paid rich dividends later in the season. As she won the FEI World Cup eventing qualifier at Chatsworth and then went on to claim a magnificent silver medal with Cavi at the FEI European Eventing Championships in Bretoni, Italy. Mary was back where she belongs, at the top of the eventing tree, and she concluded her year with an eye-catching second at the new four-star Poe event on her new ride, Imperial Cavalier. <laughs>